in the painting in front of us, Ben, uh, titled A Summer's Breeze, it's something you talk about a lot, and as I've known you, and it's about mark making, and uh, but you've also brought in a lot of colour. Um, in this subject here, your mark making is varied yet again. Um, uh, can you under could you describe to us sort of uh, what you were aiming for in this painting, and uh, and and how that whole experience was for you? For sure. Um, so I guess uh, I have sort of different styles or aesthetics that I work in. Uh, there's there's black and white, and there's pattern, and there's and there's layering, and there's more expressionistic works, and this would fall within that sort of spectrum. So um, it was a decision to sort of loosen up a little bit. I think in comparison to some of my other works, which were a little more. Uh, rigid and structured. Um, so this was really just about throwing some paint around and just uh, being loose and expressive and experimenting and, and seeing what happens. And once again, using the figure there. And, um, and it was interesting, like there was a nice sense of space that um, sort of emerged uh, within this painting, which was unexpected, um, but which I quite liked. And um, a, a Summer's Breeze is really just about you know, being in that space where it's, you have a summer's breeze and it's, it's just blowing by and you get that, that um, sensitivity on, on your skin and that sense of um, space in, in that time. I think that's uh, reflected in the painting. And is the figure uh, sort of influenced by uh, someone you know or uh, is there any reference there to the figure? No, not at all. <laughs> right. I think most painting is uh, self-referential to, to some degree in, in the sense that you're embedding it with your concepts and ideas. And so that's maybe a reflection of myself in some way and some sort of aspect of, you know, something that I, I find um, you know, interesting and enjoyable to be a part of. I see a lot of movement in this painting. Uh, was this uh, an intention of yours or did it just evolved or? Yeah, it, it, it just evolved. It was originally a black and white painting, uh, which you can see in the background of the work and uh, with these sort of swirly lines here. And, um, and I wasn't quite happy with that. And so I decided to paint over the top of it and um, let some of those sort of areas show through. And that sort of has helped to create that sort of sense of dimension in space. And, um, and a sort of uh, another sort of sense of, of, of movement and uh, rhythm within the work. 